biggest prize. And the game is over. The series is over. These are the champions. This group of players will be forever linked as Stanley Cup champions. An emotional moment, I'm sure, for everybody here. One that I only wished I could have been part of. I'm not really sure where this tradition originated, but it's one that separates our sport, I believe, from a lot of the others. The players come together, congratulate each other on a hard-fought series, but it doesn't mean that you actually like the guy that you're shaking hands with. The playoff MVP gets the Conn Smythe Trophy, and here is the winner. I'm always interested in the way the player reacts to getting this trophy. It's almost like they want to get out of there so they can celebrate the Stanley Cup. You've been selected as the best player in the playoffs, but really all you can think about is that your team is champions. It's often said it's the hardest prize to win because it takes eight weeks. And by tradition, the captain is the first to hold it high. I can guarantee you that picture right there with the cup up over his head will be displayed prominently in his home. One moment he can be proud of and will cherish forever. There's always interest in how the Stanley Cup has passed player to player, and they take their victory lap with it. Players are injured and banged up, yet it doesn't seem to matter how much that 30-pound trophy really weighs. Doug Waite actually got it over his head once with a dislocated shoulder. In what would be his last Stanley Cup victory, Wayne Gretzky gathered everyone at center ice for a team picture, and that has now become a custom.